Welcome to another day of How to ABL. Today is 10-12-2023, and it is shock season. Today is Speed Female Day, so I'll be running with a Tier 4 Luna using a Brilliant Rage. Uh, if you want to stick around afterwards, I'll give you additional information like why I built the team the way I did and some alternate options in case you don't have Luna or in case you don't have all the characters that I do. Now, with Luna, actually with any character, I have to do a quick disclaimer. This is how I play the character. There are different ways to play characters. There are different rotations. Try them out five or six times, especially with spam characters like this, to see what works for you. If you can pull off a rotation better or if you see better success with a different rotation, use what works. Don't use what people say. So, with me, what I like to do is I like to try to focus on a 5-4-3. I delay 3 till she points at the sky because that causes the ice to fall. That's where you get most of the damage. Most of the other skills can be instantly cancelled. In fact, all of the other skills, in my opinion, are instantly cancelable skills. So, cancel them. Use them right away. Use 7 as soon as possible. Use 6 as soon as possible. Sometimes I'll even use 6 during a 5-4, like a 5-4-6-3. Uh, but I try to keep the 5, 4, 3 together, and the 2, 1, and 6 are pretty much spam until 5 is ready again. That's how I play her. Usually does pretty good. The procs will usually stay on with the 5, 4, 3, which is where you want them if you want to try to look for a little bit of consistency. Now, there is a special thing I want to point out for specifically Shock Season. She can't cancel today, so she needs her striker. Thor tends to be the best striker for ABL for some reason. Elemental damage does really good in ABL, so with him being tier 4 and having a rage, so he's a built striker too, which helps your score, I find that he does a phenomenal job, and he cancels. So just make sure that if you're using Thor, you only use your 7 when it's ready with the first orb pickup. After you get the second orb pickup and get the cancel off, you can spam it until you get your next single orb for the next set of 4 to get your Odin Force. As long as you're doing that, you should be in good shape and you should be fine. So let me show you that in action. And like I said, if you want to stick around, I'll give you additional details after this. All right, switching the Luna right away, picking up that orb. One, two, five, four, three. I only do the one. I mean, you can do one, two. As soon as it's on cooldown, I like to start with it because it cooled down quickly enough. And basically, there's my first seven. I'm going to spam my skills. I'm going to spam my skills until the five, four is ready. And you'll see where the procs are landing. Some people focus a little bit more on procs than I do. Seven's ready. I'm not using it because I need it for the cancel here in just a minute. Look at that. He's jumping center. I would not have had that ready. As soon as he's targetable, I'm going to start with a seven, one, two, five, four, six. I'm sorry. One, two, five, four, three, six. <laughs> five, four, seven, three. One, two. I'm sorry. Two, one there. One, two. Here's the five, four, three, six, one, two. Use that to pick up the thing. Seven right away. Should have used the seven a little quicker. Your four is going to fling you across the screen, so if you're hitting your analog stick, be aware that she's going to go in that direction. Sometimes it's great for dodging, but if it pulls you too far away from him, it will actually affect your overall score. So try to stay as close to him as you can. And like I said, with characters like Jean Grey and Luna Snow, there's a bit of spamming involved, so the damage that you can put out can be a little bit on the random side. Rubbing my eye there, I should have hit the seven sooner. Ooh, I'm not close enough to get the six off. That's what I mean about being closer. All right, we got the Odin Force. We can still use that seven as long as we don't pick up the single orb. Now, I should have enough time to pick up this orb and do one more seven and still have a, a cooldown. I missed the four there. Messed up the rotation. This is my last seven. I want to save it after that. Five, four, three. My rotation's back on. Sometimes when I'm talking during these videos, it will mess up my rotations and they will not be as effective as they could be. I am saving my six there for when he's targetable again. Use seven right away. Six, one, two, five, four, three. Um, Thor has a long shock value, so you can kind of use him at the beginning of targeting. A lot of the different cancels are done as soon as he raises his sword, otherwise you'll miss the cancel. Thor's not like that. Thor is going to get that cancel off as soon as he's targetable. Uh, searcher. So as soon as he goes center and it's about time to cancel, go ahead and hit Thor. Don't worry about saving it. With today, I should be scoring about 10 million uh, with my Luna. So if I'm a little below that, it's probably more dealing, dealing with the fact that I'm messing up the rotation and talking too much than I am focusing on the rotation. So I'll probably rerun it after this. But I'm trying to give you an idea of how the rotation looks in action. And uh, some, yeah, some of my procs are already slipping off probably from talking. Yeah, you see right there, I did the six before the three that time. That's fine. Uh, prioritizing that six is a good way to uh, 
make sure that you uh, get it cooled down as much as possible so you can do as much damage as possible. There you go, 10 million. That's, that's about on par uh, with where I score with my account. Can she do more? Absolutely. A well-built account with your Luna can do a phenomenal job today. Let me write that down. 10 million, 184, 267. I just want to make sure that I track my scores so I can kind of see my progress over time. Let's talk about how my account is built, how my Luna is built, and then talk about team ups and alternates if you want to stick around for this portion. Uh, so to begin with, I always show my cards. I will point out that Pierce is very important. So if you don't have max Pierce, which I don't, I have 16% Pierce, it is affecting your score. But this is how my cards are built. Positive if you want to read those. I just make sure I always show them because if you're like me, you like to compare your accounts, find tips and tricks, and say, well, why is your Luna scoring more or less than me? Well, here's additional data. How your account is built affects how well your characters do, period. Bad cards, doesn't matter how good of a player you are, you're going to do bad with the character. And she's only ranked at 2,551. She's a very popular character. Uh, here is her detail page. All the important stuff is capped. Uh, let me go over here to her skill. As I'd mentioned, I'm using Thor as the striker. Even though there's not an instinct match, Thor is just an exceptional striker for ABL, and I recommend using him in all teams. This was suggested to me. I've been trying it out ever since, and I score more when I use Thor in ABL. And you also need him for canceling today for shock season. Here are the Uru slash Odin's Blessings. I've got a couple Odin's Blessings. She's worth more. Everything's amplified. I just haven't fully flushed her out because even though she's a great character and I like her as a character, she's not my favorite so I don't put all my resources into her. Power of the Angular Hulk, any of the attack sets are fine. I do have her own artifact, which is pretty cool, but it's only a three star and it's only a plus six. So hopefully I can get a six star one day and she'll do more. It is an instinct match, which helps. It gives her additional damage based upon her cold resist. So this is a good artifact to have and important if you want to do as much as you can. Custom gear, I do have that brilliant rage, like I mentioned, it's a 300% and it's rolled at a 1%. So. It could be slightly better, especially on this increased basic attack stuff, but the 300 I'm pretty happy with up top. Uniform is mythic. It is summer lilac. It is a seasonal uniform. So if you miss this, you have to wait until the season comes around again in order to get by it again. Definitely worth having. We'll point out really quick, if you at least have light serious armor in a tier 4, she does do good today still. Summer lilac is the way to go. Even though it's an ugly uniform, in my opinion, it's hands down one of the best uniforms right now for doing damage in both ABX and ABL. She is like the unofficial queen of damage. It's insane the amount of damage she does, and maybe Magneto and Jean Grey can give her a run for her money, but she just does an incredible job. Let's talk about the team I have built up, why I built it that way, and some alternate options in case you do not have the same characters as me. So, you'll see first and foremost, I have Shuri in the leadership position. There is controversy over which character to use for leadership. I'll talk about all that in just a second. I'm using Shuri. She does 35% increase all basic attacks with her Wakanda Forever uniform, and she has a passive 55% damage dealt. The passive is the big thing, but she also has the added bonus of the leadership thing. She's worthy of an insight, but she's also good on her own, so I don't really have an insight on her, and honestly, there's better characters to put the insight on. There is a new update that you can put an insight on two characters, so I could have one on her, one on White Fox. Reforge both. The base insight stat does not stack. The additional option, if they're different, those do stack, which is kind of cool. Something new they added, and I guess something for whales if they have plenty of insights, which I don't. Uh, White Fox. White Fox is easily one of the best support characters in the game for leadership characters because applies to allies with leadership, 65% damage dealt. Incredible. Absolutely incredible right there. What does leadership mean? Well, if you go to the details page, it's important to know this stuff. You see that shield icon, you click that, leadership. That means it'll help Luna Snow. So she's getting that passive effect. It works for any character with that shield, including characters like Spider-Man. Spider-Man has leadership. He would get benefits from that. So if we go here to details page, leadership. You could put White Fox on a team with Spider-Man if you wanted to, and he gets that bonus. So anyone with that shield icon gets that bonus. So she's worthy of an insight, and she's used on a lot of different teams, a lot of different days, so I absolutely gave her an insight. Now, she has an, another bonus that she's getting here with the Lifestyle Series 2 uniform. Even at level 1, you get these bonuses. Uniform effects, superhero allies... 15% increase all basic attacks, 10% chain hit, and ignore targets dodge by 30%. All of this is getting stacked on to her insight and her 65% damage passive. 
That's why, in my opinion, this is the meta team for today. Now, here's the controversy. You also have Misty Knight. For whatever reason, Elemental Damage does a phenomenal, phenomenal job when it comes to... Why can I not find her? When it comes... There she is. When it comes to uh, building a team, Elemental Damage for ABL does a phenomenal job. Increase Cold Damage by 60%. I have had a lot of people tell me that Misty Knight's leadership with White Fox and Luna Snow is an incredible team up for today, and they do better than other characters such as Wave or pre-Uniform Shuri. Try it out. See what works for you. I actually score less. One of the reasons could be I don't have enough Pierce. Maybe if I had more Pierce, the elemental damage would do better. Maybe the resistances are affecting my score. But through my experimentation, I do not score as much with Misty Knight, so I do not use her. But... There are enough players that are veteran players that know what they're doing that score more with Misty. Give it a shot. Misty Knight's a great leadership option specifically for Luna. Who else could you use for today? You could use Wave. So I have Wave's uniform, but she has a 25%. That 60% is for Namor only, but that 25% is there. But she also has a passive of 50% damage dealt. Now, if you look at those two, we get an extra 10% and an extra 5% with Shuri. So obviously I'm going to use Shuri instead. So basically, if you're using Luna Snow with either uniform, definitely put White Fox in your team with or without a uniform, preferably with an insight, and either use Misty Knight, Shuri, or Wave if you have their uniforms even better. That, that's my recommendation. Now let's say you have none of them. Who else could you use for today? What other options? I will do a quick shout out to Maya Lopez. If you don't have any of the other three characters I just named, she does have a 60% all basic attacks, not as good as damage dealt. She's not ideal. It is better for the cold damage than the all attack. I don't think the all attack does elemental. I really think that the all attack is just for physical and energy. And then elemental is elemental to its own piece. Otherwise, she would be just as good as Misty Knight, right? So as far as I can tell, yeah, all attack is just physical and energy combined. Uh, basically, that has to do with the type of character you have. Again, on her main page here, it says energy attack. So all attack only boost her energy attack. Other characters say physical there. If it says energy attack, it only applies to characters like Luna. If it says physical, it only applies to characters that are physical like Spider-Man. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to determine the all attack versus physical and energy attack. Uh, other options for today, I would say the next best option, in my opinion, from seeing other people play, because I don't have them tier 4, would probably be Spider-Gwen. If you have a tier 4 Spider-Gwen with a cross to Spider-Verse uniform, and I will point this out under details... She does have leadership, which means White Fox would work with her. You could use the exact same teams, Shuri or Wave. Uh, Misty Knight's not going to work now. Shuri or Wave, put Spider-Gwen in the slot of Luna and use White Fox, and you can pull that off as well. That's probably the second best team for today. I would follow that up with a Tier 4 Gamora. I think Tier 4 Gamora with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is probably the next best. Now, she does not have leadership. So she's not going to be able to use White Fox, which means in her case, you'd probably want to use a Shuri and Wave combo. Because again, Wave has that passive, Shuri has that passive for the damage dealt to kind of replace using White Fox. It's not going to be as good as this team up, so keep that in mind. But she is a really strong character at Tier 4. If you don't have any of them Tier 4, Luna's number 1, Spider-Gwen's number 2, in my opinion, then Gamora. After that, I would actually argue Black Widow. A lot of people don't like Black Widow. I thought Black Widow was good, and I used her until we got a Tier 4 Luna. I do have her at Tier 4 still, and I do still have her with a Rage. She does okay, just nowhere near as good. I, I don't even remember what I was scoring anymore with her. I want to say somewhere in the ballpark of 7 to 8 million versus the 10 million that I'm doing with Luna. Luna's multiple millions ahead of her. Maybe she was closer to 6 million, 5 or 6 million. I don't know. Either way, there's a sizable step up with the other characters. For the time, she was the only Tier 4 character. She did a great job. So you could use her if you absolutely had to. I just don't recommend it. Um, Shadow Shell Tier 4 is a really good option. Just, in my opinion, not anywhere near as good as Gamora. So that's the way I would rank it. Luna, Spider, Gwen, and then Gamora for the top three choices for today, in my opinion. And those are the team-ups. Those are the options. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing with the characters I'm using. Hopefully that was helpful. And as always, may your ABL scores be as high as possible. And I'll catch you in the next one.